so since our select character menu is all ready we can now select the character and save it now we need to work on our select stage okay so in scenes select this select stage okay then what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna create a canvas so UI canvas in this canvas create a background image so UI legacy uh, actually UI image name this as BG stretch it while holding down the alt button and drag and drop the background in there so in sprites this is our background okay and make sure that your canvas is scale with screen size and it is 1920 and 1080 okay then what we're gonna do is in the background we're gonna create a UI legacy text okay move this text to top center right there click on scene view make the text width 300 the height 100 and select top center again make the width let's just say 600 yes select the font make its color white select the font size and right here type select character give space okay make sure it is the text is aligned center and then down below like this okay select character now name this as heading now in here create a image again actually not an image but a button so UI legacy button and what we're gonna do with this is change the width to 400 and the height to 200 okay or actually 402 and then 202 from this we move the text and right here type stage 1 inside this stage 1 create a UI image okay make the width of it as 400 and the height as 200 okay and to this image drag and drop your first stage image I think it is this one okay select stage 1 make the width of it as 205 and the height as 205 so that we have this white lines around it to show that this is a button okay so this is our stage one now stage one button now duplicate it change it to stage two then duplicate it again change it to stage three and in them change the images our second stage will be I think it was this one and our third stage was this one okay now click on scene view let's move all of these buttons to uh, hold down the alt button move it to the middle left side then select all of them move them a little bit right here and then a little bit up here all right then move the second one right here move the third one in the middle and then right down below Okay. they look good now and actually we need to change the heading to select stage not character okay we will type select character in the other scene in the select character scene okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on prefab and make a prefab of this heading 
click on scene select stage open up prefab again open up the canvas and drag and drop that in there whoops drag and drop heading in the canvas and there it is now name this as select character and for the color I'm gonna click on this pick a color from the screen and I'm gonna select for example this color okay so now as you can see it looks really good click on prefab and pack completely that's it select character and right here it is select stage now whenever we click on this one it will open up it should open up uh, and you can see it will it should play the first stage then second stage then third stage okay for now we only have the first stage so we're gonna focus on our first stage okay so let's go ahead and create a script for it in the scripts UI create a new C sharp script by the name of stage select Okay, click on canvas drag and drop this script to it and open it up on this script right at the top you will add this remove the start and update method and then if you click on clear selection from here select this whole method paste it right here change its name to select stage and remove these other two lines from it and that's it that is all we have to do on this script okay now if we open up this PG select all of these stages add a on click event to them drag and drop the canvas in them and select the stage select script and then the select stage method now as you can see in all of them it is selected so stage 1 name is map 1 then map 2 map 3 so stage 1 right here type map 1 right here type map 2 and then right here type map 3 that is all we have to do for this all right now let's click on main menu back again let's start the game from our main menu as you know that in the previous video we have selected a new character so now if we click on play select character as you can see that character is already selected okay if you now for example select king press that okay stop the game play the game again you will notice that when the game starts click on play select character as you can see that character is already selected now if you click on play select stage select the first one as you can see the first stage is started we have the king character okay and this king character is not because we select the character in the main menu because that king character was already active in this in the stage one okay for example if we select some other character this eddie click on play click on select stage select the first stage as you can see we still have the king character active we don't want that we want whatever character we select in the main menu we want that character in our stages okay so now for that we have to open up our stage one or you can say map one here is the player character so to this player character click on scripts ui okay on on top of this player characters drag and drop this player selection script and in the player characters drag and drop the player characters and then disable the king because we don't want the king to be active now only that character will be active which we selected from our menu okay get back to main menu play the game as you know that we have selected eddie so if you click on play select stage select the first stage as you can see now eddie is selected if we stop the game go back to main menu click on play and click on select character let's select this character now click on play again select stage select the first stage as you can see now this character is active okay and that's it now we can select characters and select a stage for now our uh, map 2 and map 3 or stage 2 or stage 3 is not prepared 
but before preparing that what we're gonna do in the next video is to select different type of opponents against the player because we don't want the same opponent again and again okay if you open up map one as you can see we have two different types of opponents so we want that whenever a game is start we want different types of opponent alright so I will show you how you can do that in the next video